This is one of the most famous photographs of the 20th century, perhaps one of the most famous of all time. It shows and has been titled hundreds if not thousands of times as the arrest of the Bosnian Serb terrorist Gavrilo Princep, a member of the Black Hand. Moments before this photograph was snapped, Princip had just shot the heir to the Austro-Hungarian Empire, Archduke Franz Ferdinand, and his wife, Sophie Hotep. It shows the man being arrested, but also protected from the vengeful mob of local Bosnian Muslims wearing fezes. This one image describes the social tensions very clearly in the area. Those two pistol shots fired by Princip would lead the world into a deadly spiral that would culminate in the tragedy and disaster of the First World War. A war which killed around 21 million people. A war that saw the destruction of four great empires, German, Russian, Austro-Hungarian and Ottoman. But the man in this photograph is not Gavrilo Princep. The photograph has been titled The Arrest of Princep since before the start of the First World War, yet it is false. This image and its erroneous title have been used in school curriculums, websites, museums, lectures, postcards, newspapers, book covers and right up to university level textbooks. Even Cambridge University Press, in what is quoted as the most distinguished diplomatic histories of the crisis written in a generation, has the picture of the apparent arrest of Princep as its front cover. It has been used in schools as the arrest of Gavrilo Princep, an example of photographs that have helped shape our image of Europe in the 20th century. It was also listed in 1940 as one of the world's best photographs, and also in photos that changed the world in 2006 titled The Arrest of Archduke Ferdinand's Assassin. And in 2005, the Encyclopedia of 20th Century Photography published the image as the critical moment that would trigger the war, captured in a photograph on the cover of the 9th of July 1914, issue of Die Hansburger Woche, showing the arrest of Serbian nationalist Gavrilo Princep after he had shot the Archduke Ferdinand, heir to the Austro-Hungarian throne. So what is actually happening in this photograph that has duped us for over a century? It is not a member of the Black Hand, but it is an arrest in Sarajevo, after the heir of the Austro-Hungarian throne was assassinated. After the failed assassination attempt with a bomb, followed by the successful shooting, security forces in Sarajevo were on high alert. The man being arrested was a young man called Ferdinand Baer. He was unfortunately in the wrong place at the wrong time, and was caught up in the predictable sweep of arrests. Baer used to go to school with Princep, and apparently was trying to protect him when he saw his old friend nearly getting lynched by a crazed mob. As he was defending Princip, he did not realise he was trying to protect an assassin. Bear, despite his protestations, was bundled into custody and interrogated as a potential murderer. To add weight to the argument that the photograph was not the infamous assassin, was Bear's own testimony in 1930. He remembered he was surprised when he first saw the image. He wrote... I saw the photograph that supposedly showed Princep brought to prison by guards. To my great surprise, I saw myself being led away by the police. The photographer had probably caught the moment when I was taken to prison. Incidentally, anyone who knew Princep can easily see that since he was small, whereas I was tall and thin back then, as I am now. According to Christopher Clark, Regis Professor of History at the University of Cambridge, he writes... Due to the infancy of photography in 1914, it would be nothing short of a miracle for the arrest of the assassin to have been snapped. The mistaken identity of the man in the photograph begins when the photographer, deciding to make a huge profit from the photograph's indication, decided to sell the image as the arrest of Gavrilo Princep. The photograph and its corrupted title spread around the world so rapidly and was immediately taken at face value that it was just impossible to then retell the world it was not actually the infamous assassin. So who actually took the photograph? Several theories have been argued about over the last century. One of the main suggestions is that the photographer was Walter Tausch, who owned a studio 
called the Sarajevo Photographic Art Institute. He was a professional photographer who had already taken pictures of the Archduke arriving at the train station, as well as him meeting various local dignitaries. Tausch, it is believed, is the most likely man to have photographed the arrest of Bear, and his professional standing allowed him to secure the accreditation as an official photographer for the whole of the Archduke's visit to Sarajevo. So what can we learn from this? Two things at least. The press won't let anything get in the way of a good story, and don't believe what you read in the newspaper.